What's up? Uh, yeah, it's a great weekend of fights. I like all the underdogs. Uh, I like Corey Sam Hagen. I like uh, Texira. And I like Vibas. And I like. Going on. I'm going for Vulcan, Peter, and Glover Tashira. One love. If you win, yeah? I want at least 10%, bruv. <laughs> Hey guys, great weekend of fights out in Abu Dhabi. As always, we kill it with the bets. Uh, I got my eyes on some underdogs this weekend. I fancy Dan Hooker to maybe finish Islam Makachev. And uh, I also fancy Glover to maybe show up in the main event. What's going on, Casual Corner? It is your boy, Mr. Bag and Tag. Here to share with you my uh, picks for UFC 267. Uh, here, let's see what we got. Um, yeah, I reckon... Glover's going to do him. Yan, Hooker and Shimichev is also Murphy as well. They're the five I've got. I've got them on the accumulator. Let's see how we're going to go in. Um, yeah, it should be a good one. Yes, casual corner. Lewis Grill in here. Ready for doing my UFC predictions. So, I'm going to start from my first fight. My boy, Laurent Murphy versus Merikane. I'm going to go with Laurent Murphy, obviously. Third round TKO. Laurent's going to pick him apart, work him, pressure him, put it on him, and just going to show him what he's capable of. Now, next fight is going to be Islam Makachev versus Daniel Hooker. Very hard fight to predict. I don't, I'm don't. i always switching my predictions on this fight, but I'm going to put it down for Islam Makachev, just for the sheer fact that he's Dagestani. Um, them, them Russians are another level, and I just feel like... I feel like Islam Makachev is really going to work and put it on him, but I could be wrong in this one, but it's an hard fight to predict. Next up, my favourite fighter on this card, Peter Yan versus Corey Sandhagen. I feel like this is going to be fire of the night. Uh, very, very hard fight to, to pick on, but I'm going to say Peter Yan. I feel like Peter Yan's just, he's got, got a bit of fire IQ, I'd say. Like, he, knows, he knows when to bring on the pedal and when not to. I feel like his pressure's um, be, too, be a bit too much for Corey Sandhagen, but I feel like he's going to overcome adversity very, very early in the fight, and Pete Yan's going to work him in the later rounds. Last fight, Jan Blakovic versus Glover Teixeira. I feel like Jan Blakovic is just too much for him. For like that Polish power is just too much. I feel like he's going to finish Glover like third round TKO, KO, something like that. But I, could just, I can see him finishing with a good body 